I'm Daniel Berlant in the Cal Fire Information Center with the Fire Situation Report for August 23rd, 2010. Over the last couple of weeks, we've seen cool temperatures across the state, but that's all coming to an end as we return to triple digits in many areas. Already this weekend, the temperatures slowly started to heat back up, and as a result, so did the fire activity. Firefighters up and down the state have been very busy the last couple of days with numerous new fires, two of which firefighters continue to battle today. Let's take a look now at our statewide fire map. You can see the only two fires still burning are the two down south. The first fire called the Pozo Fire in San Luis Obispo County has now burned onto Los Padres National Forest and is now being run by the U.S. Forest Service. While the second fire a little bit further down south in San Diego County outside the community of Lakeside forced the evacuation over the weekend of a number of hikers around El Monte Reservoir. For the latest on the fires, we join Battalion Chief Julie Hutchinson in our Southern Operations Center in Riverside. Julie, what's the latest? That's right, Daniel. Firefighters were kept busy in Southern California over the weekend dealing with those two major wildfires. But in addition to those, we had numerous smaller fires that kept firefighters equally as busy. That being said, we want to make sure that the public remains prepared and takes precautions not to accidentally start a fire. If someone lives or recreates near the wildland areas, they need to really take extra precautions and avoid accidentally starting that fire. In addition, if a fire occurs near your home, please follow all instructions of law law enforcement and fire officials to safely evacuate that area. It's going to be another hot week, Daniel. Julie, thanks. This week, the potential for large fires will be elevated in Southern California through at least Thursday due to well above normal temperatures and low humidity. In most areas, the grass and brush are now very dry and are approaching critical dry levels. This will all just increase the chance for new fires despite the lack of significant winds. Taking a look now at our weather headlines for the week, the temperatures across the state will be warming up, including triple digits in many areas. We can expect hot and dry conditions through Thursday and a possible cool down just in time for the weekend. That's the latest on the fires in California. I'm Daniel Burland. Thanks for watching.